Dreamwave fans, Zach Braxton here. Tonight, I'm giving the pleasure to introduce to you the first ever edition of Dreamwave Wrestling Insider. My first ever guest is undoubtedly the most controversial man in Dreamwave Wrestling history, and some may say arguably the greatest in-ring performer to ever set foot in a Dreamwave ring. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest tonight, Prince Mustafa Ali. Wait, 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 wait. Zach, 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 did you say arguably the best in-ring performer? Yes. Zach, how can you argue facts? The fact is, I am the best in-ring performer in the history of Dreamwave Wrestling. You can ask any one of those guys in the locker room to come out face to face and look me in my eyes and tell me that they're better than me. They won't do it. Why? Because the fact is, I am the best. Case closed. I know it. You should know it. I know all those people know it. Got me? Point taken, Ali. The fans will never doubt your in-ring work. You've seen it on Twitter, on Facebook, any type of social media. Ali's the best. Match of the year. Match of the year. However, your beliefs. Why do you believe the things that you do about this country? Zach, let's say someone has cancer, okay? What's the first thing you would do to treat that person? Radiation? No. Chemotherapy? No. The first thing you would do to treat that person with cancer diagnose it. You understand? How can you possibly fix something when you don't know you have a problem? That's what I'm doing. I'm letting America know it has a problem. I'm letting America know it has cancer and it's dying every single day. Every single day, you and I, we lose our rights to the government. They're taking more of our freedoms and more of our rights away every single day. Every single day, this country goes out and makes even more enemies across the globe. Every single day we continue to spend in this country gets in more and more debt. Every single day, you and I continue to discriminate and oppress other people. This is the greatest country in the world, right? We're delusional. How is it the greatest country in the world? I'm not here to hurt America. I'm here to heal America. You spoke earlier of a crusade. Over the past few months, you and Brother Red have been kind of on a crusade for a, a new America, perhaps. Can you please explain more on what this new America is? In today's America, I'm not considered American. I was born here. I was born from Chicago, Illinois. But I'm not considered American. I'm considered everything but American. I'm considered a, an extremist, a radical, a terrorist. I'm not American. But in my America, a new America, such a thing doesn't exist. There's no discrimination. There's no racism. There's no segregation. It's a beautiful thing. See, in a new America, it's, it's, not, it's not a physical new America. It's a state of being. It's a mindset. It's, it's when every single American across this nation wakes up and they realize that our government is nothing more than an evil corporation. It's when, it's when you and I realize that the differences between us were put there intentionally so that you and I can never become one. Because if you and I did become one, this government couldn't get away with half the crap that it does. You understand? This new America, it's, it's not about building a new country. It's about building new Americans. Americans that don't see color. They, Americans that don't see black. They don't see white. And they especially don't see green. This all sounds like something that you'd have 100% support on. It sounds like a beautiful thing. It is. Why do you believe that nobody supports you besides Brother Red? Because <laughs> I don't have blonde hair, blue eyes, and my name ain't John. That's why. You, you think that's wrong? You're telling me if I was a white guy standing here telling you all the same things that I wouldn't get any type of different uh, reception. Let me, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me explain this to you. I'm a guy. I'm a guy that's pointing the finger at this country and criticizing it. The same country that your grandfather fought for. And he died for in a war to protect America. In my eyes, I'm just as true of an American as he is. Because I, too, am fighting for my country. I'm trying to better my country. That's in my eyes. In your eyes, I'm a terrorist. I'm a foreigner that's, that's attacking your country and ridiculing the, the great country that your grandfather fought and died for. That's what you see. I assure you, if I was white and I drove a pickup truck, not only would you be listening to me, you would be agreeing with me. It, it seems as if you believe that you're, you're the noble hero, and that the, the crowd is the villain. <sighs> I'm 
I'm the hero that no one wants to be. I'm the guy that stands up for something that's very hard to stand up for. I'm the guy that does the right thing every single time, even though I know no one's going to accept me or appreciate me. We live in a day and age now where the light is perceived as darkness now. And I'm okay with that, and I'll tell you why. Because I believe that it's in the darkness that we really can see who we are. It's in the darkness we'll see who we truly are and how low we can sink. And America needs that. America needs to see how low they have sunk. America needs to be in the darkness to see who they truly have become. So I'm okay with that. I'll be the darkness. I, I, I'll be evil. I'll be the un-American. I'll be the devil. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. But, have sympathy on the devil. Because when it comes to him, we only hear one side of the story. Ali, we spoke about oh. heroes and villains just a little bit ago. And if you don't mind, I'd like to back it up a few weeks. You recently had a match with, at one time, the man who was considered to be the biggest villain in Dreamwave Wrestling. And now the fans can't get enough of them, and he is their hero. You had a match with Christian Rose. May I please get your thoughts on that match? That, that particular match had a lot of hype going into it. A lot of people were talking about this big dream match, so to speak. And I think that Rose and I delivered. You know, people wanted to see this big explosion, and I think that's what we, we provided with them. Um, I gotta be honest, I didn't have a problem with Christian Rose before this. And no problem. Actually, I'm the guy that helped get him his job at Dream Wrestling. Like that's well documented. Uh, but then he decided to open up his big mouth and make some idiotic statements, making the preposterous claim that he's better than me. And we all know that's not true. Here's, here's the thing. When you say that I have to draw the proverbial line in the sand, and when you cross that line, I have to attack. Listen, in, in that ring, I am the alpha. I'm the omega. I'm the man. So Christian Rose crossed that line, so I had to do what I had to do. And believe me, I took great pleasure in knocking him out twice during that match, and I can't wait to do it again. Speaking of doing it again, that match that you guys recently had, it didn't end under the best circumstances. So, J.C. Costilli signed it August 3rd at Adversity. You're going to take on Christian Rose one more time. However, this time it's going to be a little bit different. There's going to be no time limit. There's going to be Lumberjacks. And J.C. Costilli is going to handpick the Lumberjacks. Him handpicking the Lumberjacks, do you believe that has anything to do with his stance on Christian Rose? I, I could care less what Jason thinks about Christian Rose. All I know is that August 3rd, at adversity, is going to be me and Christian Rose, and the people of LaSalle, they're going to be let down. Because the guy that they love, the guy that they idolize, the guy they look up to, not only will he fall, that I'm going to make him crumble at their feet. Because only I can do that. As far as JC, I don't care about his agenda. The only thing I care about is exposing the truth. And the truth is, Christian Rose isn't some marvelous athlete that's being held down by management. No, no, no. He's a, he's a, he's a hypocritical. He's a, he's a, he's a phony. He's a snake. He's a guy that politics in the back to get what he wants. And he's not a guy that can hang with me in the ring. Listen, everyone thinks that I'm out to prove that I can beat Christian Rose. That's what everyone thinks, right? He's undefeatable. Can Ali beat Rose? No, no. I'm Prince Mustafa Ali. I don't have anything to prove to anyone. It's Christian Rose that needs to prove something to me. He's in my ring that way. He needs to prove that he can hang with the best wrestler in Dreamwave today. That's what this match is about. Well, Prince Mustafa Ali, I'd like to thank you for joining me here today. Fans, we'll see you August 3rd at Adversity, where one more time you'll see the Unbreakable versus the Undefeatable as Prince Mustafa Ali will take on Christian Rose. But this time, no time limit. There will be Lumberjacks, and J.C. Costilli will handpick those Lumberjacks. Get your tickets at DreamWaveWrestling.com, and we hope to see you there.